Hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome. If you don't know who I am, I am Steve Chapman with Fishing Florida Radio. And I'm back for the day two weigh-in of the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour. You're going to be able to see lots of things. If you're new to the channel, make sure you get to wait till the end because there's a great way to get some free tackle and a bunch of stuff, but you gotta get on there and like and subscribe and all that. But be prepared and say hello to Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour. Stage one here on the Kissimmee Chain of Lakes. Today's video is brought to you by Tackle Webs Instant Gear Storage. Tackle Webs is a great product that you can put in your hatches and all around. And what it does is it allows you to put, to keep better organized is the best way to put it. But you wanna know what it does more importantly? It allows you to put baits and other things that you might need in a place that you can instantly grab them. And what that does is it allows you to, to grab baits and other things quickly. Because if your bait isn't in the water, you're not catching fish. And everybody will tell you that. So. Thank you to TackleWebs. TackleWebs.com is their web address, and we are very proud to have them as the sponsor today. First and most important question. Crazy off season. The new Major League Fishing is now, stage one is now here. You've had your first day on the water. After, and even after all the excitement yesterday of I know you were running around with your head cut off. How f good did it feel to get on the water today and, and compete in the first, the first stage one? Well, I mean, it's awesome. You know, it's something that uh, obviously I've waited for for a long time. It was, you know, coming down here, it was interesting because I, you know, it was the first tournament that I've had little focus on the tournament, you know, and, and so that was just weird. You know, normally it's just all about your tackling, all about, you know, practice, yeah. the tournament, and everything, and it's been all about the event happening. You know, it's much, you know, I feel more like an event host than a, than a tournament fisherman, and then all of a sudden I get up today, you know, and I got to go fish, so. Uh, which didn't work very well for me. I didn't really have very good practice and didn't find very many today either. So, uh, but all in all, just, you know, I guess the big focus this week has been to get this thing kicked off, worried about everything, you know, working like it's supposed to. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, we got, we got a great future ahead of us, a lot of fun stuff. And, you know, the Bass Pro Tour is going to be awesome. And it was very enjoyable today to compete in it from that first. I'd have loved to have caught a vendor, you know, yeah. that part of it really sucked. But, but uh, it was an awesome day. It, it, it's all, it all came to kind of fruition. There's been so much speculation and mystery on all of it. And then to come out today, well even yesterday, having uh, Johnny Morris out here was amazing. Yeah. Did you have a sense of like, I'm really, I'm kicking ass, this is really, good. this is gonna work? Well, you know, it's it, it, uh, obviously working on it every day. It doesn't have as big an impact as the preparation. You know, the, the challenges all happened a month or two months ago or whatever. So we've been slowly overcoming obstacles. But just to see it all get built and to see it actually function, uh, you know, all this new equipment that we've invested in for the live stream. Um, got a new website that was built, brand new platform. It just launched last Friday. Yep. So, you know, that's pretty recent, you know, and so uh, a lot of concern about just getting the bugs worked out. I, I felt like I, we actually have made way less mistakes at this first event than I expected. I figured it would be more chaos than it has been. We've had a few little deals, you know, happen, but it's all been pretty smooth. Got an unbelievable team. Uh, every day they're going to figure out these little things, you know, to make it better. So, uh, uh, you know, I, it's a great accomplishment. I mean, mission accomplished. The guys are obviously, a couple of these guys really, yesterday and today, especially Robinson, this last, when you start hearing the, the, the updates, yeah. do you, does it go through your mind, I need to change up, or do you just stick to the game plan of what you've you been know, doing? It, it, it just depends on whether or not you're doing anything. Uh, you have to pay attention. One of the cool parts about 
Major League Fishing is the fact that you do get that information, so you have to learn how to use it. And, and if you see guys go on runs and you're not doing that, then you're probably doing the wrong thing. It yeah. should make you make an adjustment. Not immediately, you know, you're, you're uh, following whatever the current instinct is. But when that plays out, uh, it, you know, the thing is, you can only guess what these guys are doing. You're not certain what these guys are doing, as, you, as you've seen in the other Major League Fishing events. Yeah. Most of the time we're wrong, you know, we, we yeah. assume somebody's doing something. So you can't, you know, you can't just go uh, try to do something you assume somebody's doing. You gotta fish your own deal. I, I don't pay a lot of attention to that. I keep up, what I really pay attention to is the weight and and uh, the pace that they're catching. Oh. Then I judge that against what I'm doing to see if I can keep that pace. Yeah. You know, not so much what the guy is doing because you have no idea where he is or what he's doing. Yeah. But it helps you with the pace. And then if all of a sudden you discover that, you know, uh, you're off pace, that that's when you have to make an adjustment because otherwise you'll just slowly go backwards. Brandon Palinick, Angler of the Year, what, a year and a half ago, a year ago? Yeah, something like that. Somewhere. Good guy, other than he screwed me a couple years ago at the classic and made me wear way too much clothing and then went five feet from the shoreline we won't hold that against him today it's true how hard was the decision to come here to this amazing uh the bass pro tour uh it was tough it was i mean i think it was tough for the majority of the guys right? i mean you spend your whole entire life working towards a goal and then you walk away from it. That's not easy. I mean, think about that junior high girl that you were always chasing and you never could get a hold of it. And then finally, <laughs> you came around the corner. And it's there. Yeah, and she, she said, Steve, I, I want you. I want to date you. Let's just be honest. That has married. never happened. I want to be married to you, Steve. And you looked at it and you said, no. Nah. I can't do it. And you didn't even know why. Just like, no. Nah. No. So. This format is insanely like exciting for the average angler and everybody yeah. this is like wonderful to watch on on the live stream it gives you guys a, a great opportunity to showcase your sponsors more mm -hmm. it, this is this is the this is really cool stuff that's going on really cool stuff huge production value um and i think that's one thing that i saw early on is they have a really strong team here yeah and that they're just it's like a, it's a team of winners yes and not that there isn't in other tours uh, but if you were to take like some of the best salesmen and the best marketing people and and you pull them out of the industry those are the people that are doing a lot of the work here um, and it can you can tell right I haven't been able to watch live because we can't watch it this yeah. week but I've got a lot of comments of people saying that it looks really good it's really good um, and you know looks the best that we've seen in the industry which is what we wanted yes uh, and then you come here and you look at like the stage right and it looks like a big giant rock concert stage and um yeah that that's the kind of stuff that we need to get the sport to where we all want to see it yeah it, it, the all the stuff i've seen so far is wonderful having johnny out here last week or la yesterday was cool yeah uh, I mean, and when does he ever come? <laughs> Last week. Well, he, sometimes. Uh, well, in 24 hours. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he came out early to say hello to me. Uh, but that's cool because he never comes out to any of that stuff. Yeah. Not the greatest day today, but you got to, what did you learn out there? Other than it stinks, uh, the weather stinks. You know, I really just stuck in one area for the most part. Um, where I felt like I could bounce back and forth and do some different things and kind of stuck with that. I don't know what I'm going to do. On Friday? Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do on Friday. Um, you know, I don't know if I want to start somewhere new, if I want to start in that area again. Because how I had originally planned on catching them, they just it wasn't happening. You know? yeah. And I had to make some adjustments in that. Hey, Bella, <laughs> get out of the shot. <laughs> That's all right. So I had to make some adjustments in there, and it ended up working. I caught a couple big ones, um, but they're just I wasn't getting a lot of bites. The weather doesn't help. Weather doesn't help, but just getting getting a lot of bites here, or like in this format, is a good thing. Do you think it's it's more important to go after numbers of fish instead of the big fish? 
or do you try to just go, I'm going to, I'm just going out like I normally do and just catch everything I can. I'm going to catch some small ones. I'm going to catch some big ones. Yeah. I, I don't know that you can change your approach too much, right? Because it, you just need to go get big. Um, yeah. And like for me, I just don't get that many bites in Florida. So it's just good for me to go get bites. Yeah. Um, like I only caught five fish today, but I caught two five pounders. Yeah. So that goes a long ways. That's the kind of stuff you need. Um, and the thing is, is that it's not based off of numbers. It's still based off of weight. It is weight. So whether you catch big ones or you just catch a bunch of smaller ones, it doesn't matter. The weight's the, the, the weight's weight's weight. Right. 20 pounds is 20 pounds. No matter if you catch 21 pounders or if you catch five, four pounders. So it, you can chase either one. Yeah. Mike Iaconelli, good buddy. How are you? Doing good. How do you like our weather? Cold. Yeah. See your breath. It's cold, Florida. How, how happy are you that this first tournament is finally here, and and the, you've got to fish and it's it's done. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a lot of it's a lot of anticipation. You know, it's a lot of uh, excitement, energy leading up to this. So now that it's finally here, it feels right, man. I, I you know, I've honestly have had a lot of people ask me like, what's the deal? Is you know what's and I'm like just feels right man I, I don't know the best way to explain it I'm not I don't I look at the guys nobody's nervous nobody's panicked nobody's upset everybody's relaxed having fun that's the way it should be man it, it really feels right does this this format do you like this format's good yeah this is a this is exciting for everybody yeah this this, this format is conducive to um, fishing on the fly, figuring the fish out, fishing the moment, whatever you want to call it. There's not a giant practice period. You've got rounds, you've got to think quick, or you get eliminated. Uh, to me, it's some of the purest fishing I've ever fished, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, the, whether it's the cups or the tours, I, I like this style. The other thing is, it's total number of fish. Yeah. And, you know, to a non-fishing fan, and, and we're trying to track non-fishing fans, it's important to show that we could catch 30, 40 fish yeah. instead of just bringing in five. That's an important element. And I think uh, I think you're gonna see these guys the best in the world and you're gonna see why. I'm gonna walk with you. Okay. Is it more important when you start when you start when you start uh, thinking about the tournament, do you start going, I, I think I wanna catch numbers of fish or do I wanna catch big fish? You know, it's funny, my attitude hasn't changed at all from bass or FLW to here and what I'm always looking for is groups of fish an area that has a population of fish in it usually when you find that nine times out of ten there'll be big ones there too I'll see you on Friday okay good luck thank you thank you man by the way so I'm splitting a little bit early why it's cold now I know everyone has a different opinion on what's cold and I appreciate your opinion but for us here in Florida right now I'm freezing so uh, for the day two here at the, the Bass Pro Stage 1 here on the Kissimmee Chain, Major League Fishing, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like and comment. And click the notification button and tell us uh, so you get notified when we do a new video. But if you're a new person and, you've never, and you didn't know, or if you're an old person and you haven't sent us your, an email or a private message or whatever it is, private messages, emails, tell us what's going on and just say hello. If you do, we're gonna send you a bunch of prize packs. Bass Assassin, Culprit Riptide, Mirror Lure, there's a bunch of them. TTI Blakemore, there's eight or nine that you'll you'll get on the list and you can get free prize packs. And it's free tackle, free. So do us a favor and do that. And of course, make sure you like and say hello to TackleWebs, TackleWebs.com. They sponsored today's video, day two, here in Kissimmee on the Kissimmee chain for Major League's Fishing's Bass Pro Tour. So I hope you like some of the interviews and thank you for watching. But until next time, get your fish on.